Hello everyone and welcome back to Top Welding. Today we present the brand new TIG Welder GIS Pro TIG 200 ACDC. It's a welder with a 220 volt power supply for coded electrode MMA welding. For TIG welding in DC, current for iron and stainless steel mainly, and AC for aluminum welding. The maximum current is 160 amperes in direct current and MMA electrode welding and 200 amperes in alternating current. The duty cycle is 90 amperes at 60% in direct current and 115 amperes at 60% in alternating current. The saver comes with its generator, with the 16 amp Shuko plug. Inside the box, we then find a bag with a ground clamp and an electrode holder with cable and 50 connectors. A pack of consumables and tungsten electrodes and everything needed for the 1.6 and 2.4 mm sizes. We also have these caps, the long cap and the short cap for the torch. Instruction manual for a 4 meter TIG 26 torch with gas connector and button connector. A gas tube and inside a small bag we find the hose holder to connect behind the welder for the gas tube and another connector if we want to use a different TIG torch from the standard one provided with the machine. I'll show you the welding machine's control panel. As I mentioned earlier, we can weld with coated electrode MMA for welding rutile, basic, stainless steel, and cast iron electrodes. It's very interesting. There is a function, the MMA pulsated function, which definitely helps during vertical welding or to have less deformation of the piece. For TIG welding, we can first adjust the ignition, so TIG in high frequency and TIG with lift ignition by touching the tungsten on the piece. Then on the right, we have two stroke, four stroke, and the four stroke controlled, which means the ability to switch from one current to another with just the press of the torch button. Here on the right of the main potentiometer, we have the option to work with all the LEDs turned off, meaning there will be only one welding current. The possibility of adjusting the pulse TIG with two alternating currents. The spot function where we can adjust the welding time in tenths of a second. And on the right side of the panel, we can adjust the DC or AC or AC easy settings with the adjustments here on the right. Then we have the ability to adjust DC, direct current, for iron and stainless steel. We can set the C to easy, so alternating current for aluminum, but with the simplified function, we just need to go set the tungsten diameter we need to use with this button and automatically the machine will self-regulate the balance and frequency. Also, if I set, for example, in this case, tungsten at 2.4, the machine will not allow me to weld beyond 120 amperes, which is a bit of the usage field as the maximum current for 2.4. If we press the button to select the AC function, in this case, as you can see, we can select both the balance and the frequency of the alternating current AC. On top of the panel, instead, we find the classic TIG welding function, so the pre-gas, the seconds, the slope-up time in seconds, the frequency that is currently deactivated because we have not selected pulse. Same for the second current in percentage of the pulse. Therefore, the percentage compared to the first current cannot be selected either because we do not have the pulse activated. Descent ramp also this in seconds and post gas after welding good. I hope this video has also been helpful for purchasing your next new TIG welder. Top welding remains always at your disposal for technical information or advice on welders or accessories. And see you next time, bye.